welcome guys to our new episode in this episode we'll be seeing http interceptor so what are the best http interceptor what are the scenarios where we can use http interceptors so interceptor is nothing but a service where we implement http interceptor with that implementation we have to uh, create a method intercept okay so interceptor is nothing but a service which we implement to monitor all the incoming and outgoing request from our angular application so incoming and outgoing http calls basically so whenever we communicate with any api we can monitor that api before sending the request to the server and after we get the response from the server also we can monitor modify and then send it back to the service call okay so the question is what is the scenario or the what you can say method where we can implement it okay so answer is pretty simple like consider you have an application where login and authentication is there and the services or the api is a token based authentication so when you log in you get a token and after that login whenever you make the api call you have to send that token along with the http request so be best way to send that token is with the custom headers okay so for that scenario only we can make use of the interceptor so let me show you the implementation i have the basic code ready so normal thing is you have you just have to create a service this is normal service for that up to this it is normal service so to make it the interceptor you have to implement the http interceptor which again comes from the http client okay then you need to add an intercept function let me remove it if i remove it it will provide an error like intercept function is missing so that what it is okay so we have we need the intercept function so for this we have two parameter request and the next okay so request is nothing but let's say we have a user service from this i am actually making the http call with this url and this data okay so once we execute this function after this it will come to the interceptor okay so what are the data we have prepared for making the http calls like this url if it is if it was post we will have object and everything so it will come in the first parameter okay so in the http request we can add headers like this like headers is nothing but an object which is having key and the value so let's say authorization request we just have to clone the whatever the request we have requ using request dot clone with object headers request dot header then set this is a key and this is a value let's say for token based authentication authorization will be my to key and to value will be if it is a bearer token we have to pass the bearer so normal scenario when we log in we get the token and we store it in the local storage or the session storage so we have to pick it from there and set it here after that we have different number of uh, headers we can set like cross origin methods headers then for different content type return types and everything we can set okay so now is the second parameter next is comes into the picture so once we have cloned the incoming request we have to use the next dot handle then send the updated request okay so up till this our api call will be made once we get the response it will come here if here we can match or what we can say if we have the error we get the status call like error dot status is 400 200 is for success 400 is for invalid object okay so we can handle uh, single with you uh, with interceptor we can implement all the error handling here only if you have to modify whatever the response you got from the uh, api or the services you can do it here then send it back to your service like this from again the service we are returning okay so like this it will work let's check so after creating service one more thing is remaining we have to add this service into our app module okay so since it is a service it will go into the provider section let me copy paste the code in providers this is the object which we need okay so object with provide http interceptor we need to add an import for that and our interceptor class name so our class name is custom interceptor service so let's add that 
okay and uh, third parameter is multi is equal to true so these are the three mandatory parameter we have to provide so once we add it in the provider so this interceptor will be active now let's check let's add a debugger so we have a debugger in our service now let's add it in the interceptor as well let's save it in So let's check user master so we are in the resolver let's continue it so you can see we are now in the get user call that is our user service once we click on the continue it will go to intercept okay so now in the first parameter you can see this is the what what we can say complete http request which we have created in the service user service and then we got it in the first parameter okay so now with this you can see we can clone it now if you can see the updated request in headers you can see the headers what are the new headers we have added okay so once i continue it you can see the api call has been successfully made since it is 200 it won't have it won't be uh, what we can say it won't be triggered that uh, error callback it will go to the our success callback success callback over that of our function so let me change some things let's say add some invalid url okay so i have added some invalid url this url doesn't exist so it should go to my error block here okay because this request is not successful because we haven't found the what are the url we have provided okay so let's check it now now we are in the user service once we get through this it will go to the intercept let me continue it okay so now you can see we got the error with 404 that is not found because this url doesn't exist whatever we have sent this url doesn't exist so you can see this is the single place where you can handle all your error handling uh, functionality related to your http calls suppose if you are uh, working with the token based authentication you can make an api call from here to refresh the token if token is expired or anything else okay so this is the way you can use interceptor so just for the interview purpose interceptor is nothing but a class or the uh, interface which we implement in a service which is used to monitor the incoming and the ongoing http calls that's it and the use is we use interceptor to send the tokens and to make a single point error handling for all our http calls okay thank you